Well, hey there, happy Wednesday. Nice to see you again. Um, today, uh, I didn't have to look very far for a topic. Um, there's only one thing that I have found in my career that is harder than starting, right? Starting a habit, starting a health routine, um, starting to learn something new, whether it's playing an instrument or cooking, but it's to keep it going. How do you sustain behavior? And today, in five minutes or less, I'm gonna to talk to you about motivation. And it's a big word that a lot of people use and play with, but they don't really explain. They're like, stay motivated, do X, do Y, but do they really know? And what I wanna give you today is two clear, easy takeaways to help you do that. Stay motivated. The number one is gonna seem really basic and simple and you'll laugh at me and it's totally fine. But on my hardest days, when I'm trying to keep a habit, a workout plan, just a positive attitude going, I use intrinsic things to help me stay on track. Now intrinsic means personally important to me, to Jen. Has nothing to do with anybody else. Uh, that could easily be, wow, I have a massive day ahead of me, I'm stressed, I am stopping to get coffee on the way to work, my favorite coffee place and my favorite coffee drink. I don't care what the macros are, I don't care if you're doing my carb cycling programs, any of that. You just get the coffee you need to help you feel better for that moment, to just be on your team, to step up for you. It could be a coffee, um, I, it could literally be, I always say schedule an upgrade. So we're like, man, today's going to be crazy. Schedule a blowout. Not that day. Like it's a Tuesday. It's crazy. Friday night, you're getting a blowout. Schedule a manicure. Schedule, um, at the grocery store. You're like, I am grocery shopping tonight and I'm going to buy nicer beer for my weekend right now. Right? It doesn't have to be in the moment changes. I think it's a matter of you recognizing today is tough. I don't even wanna think about like tomorrow. So you stay in today and you do something in that day to help you look forward to not just like the thing, not just the blowout or the better beer, but to the life that you're building. And what nobody tells you and nobody's gonna to wanna to tell you is that life the life that you really want to live does take some work. And by the way, it feels good to work hard for yourself. So don't overlook that. Don't think it's like, oh my God, work is bad. No, work is good. Work is proof of what you're made of. Work is uh, literally the tires on the track proving to you that you don't, you don't only belong here, uh, but your presence changes the world for other other for all kinds of other people. Whether you have kids or not, siblings or not, you in groups or not, you being here matters. But that only matters if you think you matter. So taking that time for yourself to plan those things is critical. One of my favorite things, and I'll tell you, I have a favorite pair of underwear. The hardest days of my life I wear it. It's bright, bright highlighter yellow. Whenever I have to go live TV. I literally wear that underwear. I'm like, I gotta put the power on. I need it today. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna get through. I don't know if I'm gonna mess up. That one pair of underwear has seen more live television than most actors. <laughs> so whatever it takes, find something intrinsically important to you and do it. I've got one minute left. Number two, be curious. When you drive home, when you drive to work, when you're on the way to pick up your kids, when you're in between things, don't put on the radio, don't eat food, don't go on Instagram and do not distract yourself. Be quiet and be curious. Why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling disconnected? What have I overlooked in the last 24 hours, maybe in the last two weeks that was important to me, that mattered to me and I let go? Research in your mind, in your feelings, like what were the things that happened? And go there and understand and see what it was so you know what it is that you need to be there for yourself. 
because to me, that's the motivation. The greatest thing I ever did in my life was in these last 12 months was learning about me so I knew how to be there for me. I wasn't out waiting on somebody else to show up with the perfect formula or the magic wand or the hot guy saying, I love you. You have to know you so you can be there for you. I'm at five minutes and 15 seconds, almost five minutes or less. That is motivation for Weed and Strong Wednesday, and I'll see you next week.